Hi, this is Kenny Bill with Pushing It Down Range, and today I'm going to do a bit of a tune up on my X Star EP9. There's nothing really seriously wrong with it. This gun runs. I've got over 2,000 rounds through it, and it never has let me down, never had a failure of any kind. So the functionality is good. The only problem I'm having right now is that the charging handle rail system is really tight and it came from the factory like that it's always been like that i guess i've been waiting for it to kind of break in but it really never has it's it's tight and it's tight because it's pinched back here and it's collapsed a little bit on the charging channel so that's kind of an easy fix i'm pretty sure all i've got to do is take charging block and sand it on both sides, reduce the size a little bit, and it'll slide in and out really nice and make that charging um, uh, procedure feel a lot better. The second item is the buffer, um, the buffer end cap or the retaining cap or whatever they call it that holds the buffer back. Uh, it is a small polymer piece with a incredibly small area of polymer holding back the buffer it um, I have heard stories about people having had those break and when it breaks it allows the buffer to slide up into the frame and makes it impossible to take it apart so you do not want that to happen to you and I figure with the amount of rounds that I have through this that now's the time to go ahead and replace it. They do make an aftermarket um, buffer plate for this. Um, ZRTS Corporation, I'll put a, uh, something up here maybe about them. Um, that little piece of metal from them, shipping and tax and everything else will put you over 20 bucks. So, you know me, if you've got the skill and the tools and the way to do it, to go ahead and make your own. It's not that hard. Otherwise, go ahead and order from them. Hey, they got to make a living too. What the heck? So, let me, uh, we'll go ahead and show, first of all, that the EP9 is not loaded. Nothing in the chamber, no magazine, no magazines on the table. So, we'll start by go ahead and drop my takedown pin and out she comes. So one issue in the upper, one issue in the lower. Uh, let's do the upper first because I've got no issue with functionality. The bolt and the weight slide in and out effortlessly. So that's not the issue here. The issue Go ahead and drop that. The issue is the charging handle, how tight it was. I mean, it was obviously now I've gone ahead and fixed it, but that block was really tight. I suspect I'm not the only one that had that issue because if you look closely here at the channel, the this the lower portion here is tighter than it is on the upper. But anyway, um, we get the handle all the way back. We can pull it out and then slide the uh, block forward. I've got it nice and smooth now. It slides right out. Um, the orientation on this is to have this little notched area here. It conforms with the slope of the channel here so when you put it in when it's all the way back it won't bang up against the uh, uh, the frame anyway excuse me I'm, I'm getting old so uh, speaking of getting old I gotta take a pee I'll be right back excuse me may I go to the bathroom first Thank 
Thank you. <sighs> okay, we got that taken care of. So, anyway, obviously I've already done that. I'll show uh, a real quick video of how I sanded it down. It's real simple. But once you've done that, if you've got that condition, go ahead and do it. It's going to feel so much better. So, we'll get that back in here. And we'll put the uh, charging handle back together. Okay, so that's the issue with the um, charging block. The second thing we're going to do is take a look at this buffer plate. Um, I'm going to bring it up close to the camera so you can see um, right here. This buffer plate is what is that little nub is what's holding back the buffer tube or the buffer weight. Of course, this is all spring loaded, so there's pressure up against there. And you see, if it wasn't for that, it would slide up in there. So you break that little nub off, this buffer weight is going to run up into your frame. And now you can't take it apart. So you do not want that to happen. So either spend the 20 bucks to buy the aftermarket piece, or you go ahead and make your own. I made my own, so I'm going to go ahead and replace that. Here's the, the piece that I made. Yeah, it's not exactly pretty. But it is metal actually i think i may end up making a second one because there is room in the channel on the block i mean the um, the weight you see how big that is and how much room you really have here so a little bit bigger nub big is better i think it's going to work better i'll work on a second one but that was my first attempt so we'll go ahead and take the polymer one out and all you need to do is pull this back, grab it with a hook or it's got a hole in that plate. Go ahead and take the polymer one out and I, yeah, let's go ahead and take it all the way out so you can see. It helps to pull the hammer down a little bit. So there is your buffer spring, your buffer weight. Go ahead and put it back in. So you're going to want to hold that back when you're put, taking it in and out. But the plate basically just drops right in. Okay. So you can see the only thing holding that back is that little nub. So... Now that it's metal, it's not going to break, shouldn't break. So those are the two issues that I was having. We'll go ahead and put it back together. Um, I like to run my charging handle all the way back as I put the bolt back in. For some reason, it just seems to help guide it back and nice and smooth. All right, so we'll go ahead and put this back together. The EP9 sometimes is a little tricky for people to reassemble. Um, it's just a, a little bit of a finesse 
issue. Most people are want to, going to want to take this pivot and put it into the notch first and then close it. Well, that sounds reasonable, but if you do that, put it in the pivot, this is what happens. It will not close and you'll be scratching your head. Why isn't it working? So the only thing I can say is a little bit of a finesse. First of all, make sure that the takedown pin is all the way out. If you forget, uh, you're really going to get frustrated trying to put it back together. So what you have to do is give it a little bit of a head start here. Get this frame behind the, the weight and then you can slip it together and put your pin in. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad I did that. This is nice. So obviously I have to take it to the range and check the function, make sure that it's not gonna not gonna blow up on me. So I'll head to the range and while I'm headed there, uh, you can go ahead and watch this. I don't wanna shoot with you, Harvey. Anything you say, Butch. Sundance. When we're done, if he's dead, you're welcome to stay. No, no, not yet. Not until me and Harvey get the rules straightened out. Rules? In a knife fight? No rules. <laughs> well, if there ain't gonna be any rules, let's get the fight started. Someone count one, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. It's Kenny Bill with Pushing It Down Range, and I finally got back out to the range to do testing on the modifications I made for my EP9. So the two changes I made, the uh, buffer retaining plate, I went ahead and swapped that out from a polymer to a metal one that I made. The charging rail was really tight. I sanded down that block so that it would be nice and smooth. And it is what I'm going to shoot at. And if you know me, I don't really like shooting at paper. I mean, I will, but it's more fun to shoot steel. So uh, the other day I found these skillets at the dump. So we're going to see, we're going to hang them like this. See if the um, nine millimeter will go through or crack them or break them or or just bounce off. I think they're just gonna uh, turn into shrapnel and bounce off. But we'll see. All right, we're ready to shoot. I'm at 20 yards. I've got 10 rounds loaded in a 30 round mag. We're just gonna run through this real quick. Load up. Let's go. All right, well, so much for my cast iron targets. Uh, both of them broke. I'm not sure if I hit the handle. Uh, yep, I must have because I do not see an impact on the pan itself, so I was shooting a little high. And the same thing on this one. Uh, did put a couple rounds in before I broke the handle off. 
but anyway the point is to test the EP9 after I made the changes so that's what we're gonna do okay got 10 more rounds got a new target we're gonna try this again Alright, let's shoot some more. I've got 30 rounds in a Glock 31 round big stick. I'm using 124 grain Max Tech. So I'm going to try to put off as many, all 30 rounds as quick as I can. Let's do it. That's fun. I think it's gonna work. Conan, what is best in life? Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and they have a lamentation of the women. That is good. That is good.